go through some of the topographical landmarks of the head and neck here. Here in Brittany's cheek, underneath here sits the parotid gland. Um, behind her ear here is the mastoid tip, the angle of the mandible. From the mastoid tip comes down the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You can see it attaching to the clavicle here. You can also see the uh, outline of the border of the trapezius muscle here. You can see that this forms the posterior triangle where the posterior uh, lymph nodes uh, sit. Other relevant midline anatomy in the, in the neck exam is the sternal notch here, where the two heads of the sternal cladomastoid uh, meet. If we follow and palpate her trachea, we can feel the rings of the trachea and then a bump. That bump represents the cricoid cartilage. Below the cricoid cartilage sits the thyroid isthmus, and the thyroid gland lobes are tucked deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscles on each side. Above here, if we follow up, we can feel a notch here, which represents the thyroid notch, and then the hyoid bone above that. Okay, so um, when we're examining the neck, we're looking for any obvious uh, bulges of the, uh, of the uh, skin any uh, 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 neck masses uh, per se, and then we can move on to, uh, if there is a mass that is present, it is, you can auscultate the mass with a stethoscope, and fortunately, Brittany, you don't have any masses. Um, then we can palpate the different areas of the neck. Uh,